something like that. So, guys, welcome to um, this video. So this is a strange setup, I know, but um, I found myself um, through no accident of my own in Oxford, um, and um, you probably have seen I've done a couple of videos um, that I've put on my YouTube shorts and on my Instagram and stuff and on, on Reels and on TikTok. Uh, and I've just been recording from this room, so I'm in a uh, cheap and um, ominous hotel, I suppose. Ominous is the word, I don't know. This is quite bright, and yes, the lighting is really nice. So I just thought I uh, should record a couple of videos um, and just see what comes out of this sort of thing. So I do want to get back into doing more videos on YouTube. Um, and this is hopefully um, just a good way of doing it because I travel a lot for work um, and basically I've picked up my laptop because I need it for work anyways for my job and um, I've got my um, Line 6 HX Stomp which is my interface and I've got this guitar with me um, so if I'm staying overnight somewhere why not just pick everything up and um, do some videos when I've got time sort of thing so today's video what I want to do is just talk about a, um, a particular uh, preset that I have that I actually quite like um, with the HX stuff. It's a preset that I've created. And the purpose of this preset is to try as much as I can to emulate the sound of um, the rhythm tone of Nickelback, okay? Um, you know, like uh, Chad and Ryan from Nickelback have a monstrous, monstrous tone, okay? Brilliant, it's just chunky, it's heavy, what I would define as the atypical American rhythm sound. And I'm all for that, it just sounds amazing, right? It's beautiful. So when I released um, my current single, uh, which is um, you'll find it in the description below, um, which is a, a cover of Backstreet Boys Everybody, um, I wanted to layer rhythm guitars. So I wanted to use two different guitars. Um, one guitar, which is this one, was going through my typical um, HX Stump preset, which is basically. Um, me trying to copy um, like John Petrucci sort of sound. The other track that I wanted to do, I wanted something that's going to be similar, that's going to sit on the same uh, sort of like tonal range, let's say, um, of the amp. And I, you know, I always love the Nickelback rhythm sound. I thought this would be absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Now, how I came up with this idea to do this, I actually have to do a lot of research because I don't necessarily think Nickelback are very forthcoming with the way they do things, um, especially in the studio. Like they, you know, like Chad is a just brilliant, um, you know, producer. Okay, um, doesn't matter what you think of Nickelback. Okay. Um, you know, uh, your opinion about Nickelback isn't what we're discussing here. Um, it's just a fact of the matter that, you know, Nickelback and Chad, especially as a um, studio producer, he's absolutely brilliant, okay? He, he knows exactly what he wants out of the studio and he gets a really great vibe. Um, Nickelback as a band are absolutely brilliant live, okay? And, you know, if you don't like one or two songs, that's your problem. Okay? Uh, because if you think that Nickelback just do um, empty, hollow rock songs, um, I'm going to challenge you and ask you, you know, um, uh, this, this is a track called This Means War, okay? Um, it's just absolutely brilliant. It's just the heaviest heavy you could get. And Dark Horse is an album, okay? Dark Horse is an album. It's that transition that they went from that 90s grunge band to metal right they went to like metal hard rock and it's just absolutely brilliant anyways 
so I had to watch a lot of videos, okay, and I had to kind of learn and just figure out what the hell they were doing. So I found this rig rundown on uh, from Premier Guitar, and it basically talked about like how they do their sound sort of thing and what they do. But it was really interesting. <laughs> idea is like the, it's pretty much a Mesa Boogie sound with a Fender clean okay now the Mesa Boogie sound what they actually did they just have a EQ pedal and that EQ pedal when when you look at it it just looks like all the bass frequencies are turned down um, so they're basically doing what the Ibanez Tube Screamer would do and they're boosting the mids and the highs okay and it you know it I think they're doing it because they want to do it without colouring um, the dual rectifier itself. Because if you put up an Ibanez Tube Screamer, it will colour the tone. If you put a, um, I much prefer doing a Boss SD1, um, that will colour the tone as well. Um, I like that coloration, but maybe Nickelback didn't. And basically their clean sound is just a Fender, um, Fender, uh, rack it would, like when i saw that video it was just a, a rack unit now i'm pretty sure now they use things like um, axe effects and whatnot but that was the basis of what we're doing so um here's what i came up with <laughs> So um, this is the this is what I came up with for a, for a metal sound. Um, it worked really well in the studio, and it especially worked because what you've got to remember, like Nickelback use um, EMG pickups. I'm, uh, the EMG pickups are not for me. I appreciate the sound and the tonality that they do, but they're not for me. Um, but I love a ceramic pickup. Um, this guitar has got a um, low output ceramic pickup. <laughs> I think it works. <laughs> um, here's what it sounds like through a single chord pickup on the neck. And the middle, which is not exactly going to be the nickelback uh, middle pickup sound if they do use the middle pickup, but it's humbucker single coil. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over to a clean sound that I came up with and let's start with the bridge. For 
some reason for the rhythm track I'm actually using the Scream 808 okay um, and I've basically like cranked up the tone a little bit and the volume is around 7 okay and then that's going into of course it's no gain um, that's going into the tool re the, um, the rectifier and um, I'll put pictures of all of these um, sort of like so you guys could see the settings but the main thing that you guys need to remember with a dual rectifier with Mesa Boogie in general right bass is always down for for metal and rock bass is always down okay um, well, for me, anyways, because I found that this is the best setting. But I also cranked up the mids. Mids are at five, and the trebles are around six. Now, the thing that I'm doing differently, okay, um, is and that's purely because I don't like the sound of a four by twelve. Um, I just think it's too much. It's too overpowering, and, and I much prefer the sound of two by twelves because I think they sit better in the mix. So this is basically going through two. Um, V32 by 12s on either side, okay? So this helps, like for example, I mean, so if I do... So a slightly less crunchy sound, and I put the delay on. used a mail order twin um, again I've split the path um, I've got one side has got a tremolo one side has got a, um, a delay on there um, so hopefully in the track that I did you'll see the, you'll hear the delay coming out one side and the other side is nothing and it's again two um, v30s okay so these presets um, hopefully will go onto the line six um, sort of like elix presets on there um, I use my own, I use the Celestian IRs um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy the sound of those and I do think they do a, a convincing um, sound, a convincing IR that sits really well in the mix without it being pre-mixed because sometimes you get IRs that are overly pre-mixed um, personally I don't like that, I, you know, um, it's my own personal thing anyway. Um, so when I put these on there, um, you might just need to put your own IR block, so just remember to do that. crunch is where it's at for me, um, especially this kind of thing, uh, you know, having that on one side and then my other preset on one side works really well on that. If you haven't, um, you know, if you're watching this video and you enjoyed this video, so please subscribe to my channel, um, don't forget to ring the bell, please find me on Spotify, find me on Instagram and find me on TikTok now um, for more videos, more clips and more stuff to do sort of thing. So thank you very much for watching guys, um, see you in another video very very soon, cheers!